Hi guys, um, you know I'm redecorating or actually trying to decorate my new apartment and since the, I upload my apartment tour I've been very inspired to do most of my decoration as a DIY and today I want to share with you a way to do a decoration using framework very cute and easy to do we're gonna start by this one doing a very flowery one we're gonna be using a spray paint also a cold silicon, few uh, muffin tents, muffin papers, scissors, a pencil and the frame that you want to use. For the design also I'm going to be needed a little bit of cardboard. I'm going to take off uh, the back part of the frame and I'm going to place the frame and the cardboard in the middle just to create a visual of the dimensions that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be creating an S, but you can go for any type of design that you want. You can print it or you can use anything that you have in hand or as I'm doing, you can freehand uh, something. I'm going to be doing just my, uh, my letter S. Once we have it, I'm going to cut it and create the perfect um, base guide, a uh, perfect shape to create our flowery effect. Good, now we're ready to move on. We're gonna start by painting the, the muffin tent. I'm gonna uh, use three different packages. I'm gonna take the first one and spray it with one of the first color, which is going to be red. I'm gonna spray it mostly on the outer borders. This will create a kind of very softly hinge of color on top of each of the muffin tents, giving that very soft pastel look at them. I'm gonna be using also a fuchsia and a gold. I'm gonna leave it to get dry before I start with the um, assembling everything or uh, gluing uh, this flowery effect into my cardboard. So how to create the flowers? Just take one of the papers like smush it together to create this kind of flowery effect. Cut half of the back part just to create a shorter flower. We don't want it to create too tall design. We want to shorten it and tie it up. And then add a little bit of silicone, cold silicone on the bottom and place it on the cardboard. Just hold it for a few seconds and it will dry quite quickly. I'm gonna continue by following the same pattern, red, pink and gold. So I all, always have a um, kind of mix of colors. Make sure to create the hole before where you're going to hold the cardboard on the wall before continuing and covering with the flowers. Just spend some time start adding, mix and match, create a nice design. You can also go a little bit into the borders to create a kind of rounded effect, but make sure uh, from the back, everything is stick to the cardboard, doesn't float away. See how beautiful and cute and very, very romantic it looks just by giving that patch of color we give with the spray without being too intense. But notice that some of the flowers, they are much more intense in color. That's because uh, on the package of the um, muffin tents, kind of has some kind of gaps between some of the um, tents. So some of, the, of them get a little more painted and have more intense color so make sure you arrange them to be in the, um, in the beginning of the letter and the central and then some some really like kind of giving that flowy type of motion and once everything is ready you are done so just need to hang at this wherever you wanted to place it and um, also hang at the frame around it i went for a gold frame because it gives that beautiful contrast Next framework, we're gonna need just a few products. We're gonna be using a the color you're gonna be using paint. I'm gonna go for black, some 
brushes, marker that sticks on a glass and whatever the frame you want to use. I'm going to go for three frames because I'm going to use a word plane. So I'm going to be adding different type of words in different frames. So the first thing is to have your measure right from the frame so you know where's the central and you can stick the letters in, in a very kind of um, good place, like very similar and symmetrical. So you can print out any type of drawing that you want, any type of letters, but I went for a freehand once again to create the letters. I'm gonna go for Love Life and um, Be You. So I'm gonna place them wherever there is going to be, arranging them the best way possible. And then just uh, trace mark everything with a um, pencil that sticks on the glass. Once we have everything, just take it off. And then we're gonna move to start painting. I'm gonna be using black because I'm gonna have a white background so the black gives the perfect contrast. Just give some time and just take your time to paint it as better as you can. But if you go um, off of the rails of the guides or you mess something up, you can just take a nail polish remover and a cotton bud and take off the product that is, is being masked or the letter that's been masked or just the mess that you could have done. Let to get dry overnight and then I place the frame with a white background and once we have the white background I make sure everything it was clean with a nail polish remover. I put a couple of hangers and hooks on the corners of each of the frames because I wanted to give an extra touch of warmth and rustic effect to the, the entire design. So once we have everything, see how cute are my shoes for home? They're so warm, it's so cold in here in winter. So whatever, keep on. So now this is um, the design that I create, but I want to go further. So I take some rope, a very cute, beautiful, goldy type of uh, silvery gold. I'm gonna go for 25 centimeters from the large frames and I'm gonna cut four of them, two for each of the frames. I'm gonna go for 20 centimeters for the short uh, the small um, frame, I'm gonna cut two of them. I'm gonna take a hot gun, hot glue, add a little bit on the end and create a kind of hook, something like that. This is going to be um, insert into the hooks that I placed on the corners on the top of the frames. Pull everything up to the third hanger that I create, I placed. Just create a nice knot and that's it. This is the kind of more warmth type of effect. For the last one we're gonna go for a cute canvas and signs for the doors. Just take play canvas, some brushes, the paint that you want to use and a pencil and again you need to and know exactly where are the central of your canvas. I'm gonna go for four different drawers. I'm gonna go for one for the bathroom, one for the pantry, one for the bedroom, and one for my beauty room. You can print anything, you can use this hand that you want, use a many color, as many colors as you want, but I'm gonna go for freehand and also go like just a shadow shapes, just all in black. Now that you have the designs ready, just place a paper so it covers the surface you're working on and it doesn't damage. And start paint everything with black. I'm gonna go for black, but whatever the color you go for. Make sure you go very slow because this time we don't have the opportunity to raise whatever we're doing wrong and mistakes. So take it easy and take a little more time patient. So 
this is a cute way you can not just do any type of shape you can go forwards names you can use various of colors textures you can add rainstone glitter it can be perfect to sign your door your bedroom door at home or whatever you want to do you can also give this to a friend as a gift it's a very very type of inspired to do anything that you want with this canvas so once everything is dry I didn't want to place any hooks or anything on the door so I went for two size uh, tape it has adhesive in both of the sides so I'm gonna be placing around the entire back of each of the canvas once we have everything placed I'm gonna go for the doors measure whatever I wanted to place this canvas to or these signs to just place them um, press, uh, press a little bit and make sure everything is completely dry out and stick in and that's it. This is a very 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 cute way to sign the doors of your home. Are just my first DIY for the decor of my new apartment but I'm gonna be uploading tons more videos because I'm going for most of DIY decor to have a special unique um, decoration on my apartment if you like this video I would really appreciate a thumbs up if you're new to the channel just please subscribe you won't miss any of my tutorials every week so thanks so much for spending time with me be happy and see you next one bye